Mr. Strzok. You said earlier in this hearing you were concerned about a hostile foreign power affecting our election. Do you recall the intelligence community Inspector General Chuck McCulloch having an investigation into an anomaly found on Hillary Clinton's emails? I do not. Well, let me reflect, refresh your recollection. The intelligence community, Inspector General Chuck McCulloch, sent his investigator, Frank Rucker, we've got it. We've, we've got it. along with an ICIG attorney, Jeanette McMillan, to brief you and Dean Chappelle and two other FBI personnel that I won't name at this time about an anomaly they had found on Hillary Clinton's emails that were going to and from the private unauthorized server that you were supposed to be investigating. Now, do you remember it? I remember meeting Mr. Rucker on either one or two occasions. I do not remember the specific content or discussions. Well, I'll help you with that, that too, then. Mr. Rucker reported to those of you, the four of you there, in the presence of the IC, IG attorney, that they had found this anomaly on Hillary Clinton's emails going through a private server. And when they had done the forensic analysis, they found that her emails, every single one except for four, over 30,000 of them, were going to an address that was not on the distribution list. It was a compartmentalized bit of information that was sending it to an unauthorized source. Do you recall that? Sir, I don't. Well, but he I... went on to explain it, and, and you didn't say anything. No. You thanked him. You shook his hand. But the problem was that it was going to an unauthorized source that was a foreign entity unrelated to Russia, and from what you've said here, you did nothing more than nod and shake the man's hand when you didn't seem to be all that concerned about our national integrity of our election when it was involving Hillary Clinton. So the forensic examination was done by the ICIG, and they can document that, but you were given that information and you did nothing with it. And one of the things I found most egregious with Mr. Horowitz's testimony, and by the way, Horowitz got a call four times by someone wanting to brief him, leaving messages telling him about this, and he never returned the call. He had 500 pages of bias that he gave us, and then he threw a bone to the Democrats and said, but we can't find bias. And let me tell you, when you have text messages, Mr. Strzok, the way you do, saying the things you did, you'd been better off coming in here and say, look, that was my bias. And you kind of get around to that a little bit when you say, hey, uh, you know, everybody's got political views. Those are called biases. And we all have them. And you have come in here and said, I have no bias. And you do it with a straight face. And I watched you in the, in the private testimony you gave. And I told some of the other guys, he is really good. He's lying. He knows we know he's lying. And he could probably pass a polygraph. Point. It's amazing. Mr. Chairman. No, this is my Mr. time. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry. It needs I, to point be of paused. Order. This point, point of order. No. The general state is point of order. A member of this committee just asserted that this witness, who is under oath and a former agent of the FBI, lied. There is no evidence that I ask him to withdraw it. I do not withdraw it. He is not a member of Congress. It's not a violation of the rule. And just as you have been expressing bias through your members about what a hero there is not a single person on this committee who has ever characterized a witness. The gentleman as from lied. Rhode Island. The gentleman. It's my time. Committee. That's a disgrace. Gentleman from Rhode Island will suspend. Him. No, the disgrace Mr. is Mr. what this man has done. The gentleman to our from justice Texas system. will suspend for a there moment. There is the disgrace. 
and it won't be recaptured anytime soon because of the damage you've done to the justice system. And I've talked to FBI agents around the country. You've embarrassed them. You've embarrassed yourself. And I can't help but wonder, when I see you looking there with a little smirk, how many times did you look so innocent into your wife's eye and lie to her about uh, Lisa? Mr. Chairman, this is outrageous. The credibility of a witness Shame is always on you, an issue. Oh, Mr. You Chairman, please. Have, have you Mr. Know. Chairman, this is an intolerable Mr. harassment of the witness. What's wrong with that? You need your medication. <laughs> the gentleman controls the time. Well, I ask you. that the witness be permitted to respond. Well, he, will be he will be permitted. He will be permitted to respond. Did you ever talk to Hillary Clinton during your investigation, besides the one questioning you mentioned, before that or after that to this day? Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman of state is point of order. It is, I think, against the rules of the House for a member of the committee to be impugning the character of a witness. It is he should, not. He should ask questions to elicit. The purpose of this hearing is to elicit information. He should ask questions to elicit information. He should not be impugning the character uh, of the witness. The gentleman is advised the rules of the House only are directed to members of the House and the President of the United States. The, Therefore, in other words, it is okay to impugn the character of witnesses in, in any way whatsoever? Well, I've, I, listen, I've heard many members on your side of the aisle impugn character of somebody who is covered by the rules of the House. But the gentleman, the, 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 the gentleman uh, has 20 seconds left. The clock will be turned back on and he can complete his time and then the witness can respond. So if you talk to Hillary other than... Hillary Clinton, other than the time she was examined in front of the witnesses? No. So after throwing away what you have with all the bias you have, you've never even gotten a thank you. I yield back. The gentleman may respond. Sir, well, that's quite a set of statements. Mr. Chairman, sure I did not respond. finish with a question. The gentleman, there was no question asked. Mr. Chairman, no he's been given the opportunity leader. to respond. The gentleman, the the gentleman will suspend. The time of the gentleman has expired, and as I've indicated The rules earlier, of our hearings yep. are if there is a question asked during the time, the witness may respond to the, the question the after is, the time. The witness is going to be allowed to respond briefly. That's a new rule. Sir, first... Yeah. I assure no you, question. under oath, as I spoke also during my interview a week or two ago, I have always told the truth. The fact that you would accuse me otherwise, the fact that you would question whether or not that was the sort of look I would engage with in a family member who I have acknowledged hurting, goes more to a discussion about your character and what you stand for and what is going inside you. It's and to your credibility that, that, and, and while you lost your credibility. Both, both I, individuals. While I you doubt lost it, your credibility. While I doubt it plays well the gentleman to from America, Texas will I'm not sure will, plays The well. gentleman from Texas will suspend. The witness has had ample opportunity to express his feelings about that, and now the chair recognizes the Mr. Chairman, there is, a, there is a discussion about the representative's first uh, assertion about what the ICIG said that I would like to respond to. Very briefly. Very briefly. I have no recollection of that conversation. I can tell you I am not a computer forensic expert. I can tell you that every allegation that we had, and ICIG was a great and close partner, Every allegation that we had, whether from them or anybody else, was forwarded to experts who looked at it. The scores and scores of servers and Blackberries and emails and everything we got were combed over carefully by the FBI's experts to see if there's any indicia of injury. But you don't recall going saying, over sir, those emails, a, a correct? Lot, much Gentlemen, of what you're saying, I have no idea what you're talking about, and frankly, and the, this and the witness will wrong. suspend as well. I do not know what you're talking about. That yeah, you is enough. You just can't let a witness the, go on forever. The, when the fact is, you never did Mr. anything Chairman, about those. Mr. Chairman, order. Correct? Regular order.